Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Friday, the 27th of September 2019. We're using Sawyer's Path for our message today. We have two cards that came off the bottom of the deck. It's our potential theme in the day. And we're starting out with the tower. <laughs> yeah, our unstable foundation. This is the card we all gasp over when we see it. So take your moment. Let it pass. <laughs> Coming with it is the Eight of Wands. Well, it's sweet because we have instability within stability. That means we're strong enough to handle whatever this is today. The Eight of Wands is a swift moving, fast moving energy. So this tower experience is not here to stay or to linger. And it's something being cleared off the foundation. So if it's not the foundation crumbling itself, this is something that's being cleared off, and it's uh, divine will. So it may be something that we didn't exactly take care of. Now, I know I keep referring to the messages of last week where we had the death card figuring so prominently in clearing things out of our periphery that had outlived their, their purpose, no longer had anything of value to add, and... The feeling I get as I look at the tower here is that some of that stuff might have been left on the foundation. We didn't get to it for whatever reason. Maybe we didn't even see it. But the universe is stepping in and taking care of it for us. And again, it's swift. You have the eight, you have the eight of wands. There is uh, unity in this card. In ancient tarot, I remind you often, it is a marriage card. So take that where it's relevant. But... The feeling is that it's it's unity within your own heart space. You're coming coming into deeper, more expansive relationship with your own self. You are much more consciously aware of your soulful expression in the world. And any BS on that tower really has no place in that stream of energy, does it? So this is an opportunity to be grateful for whatever's being cleared out of your path. It's making a way for you. Coming with this is the Hierophant. So more unity here. This is also a commitment and or marriage card in the tarot. And the Hierophant can represent an opportunity to examine our belief system. <laughs> what are we doing? Why are we doing it? Are we just doing this out of habit? So... It's, it's a great chance to challenge yourself, challenge your thoughts. I was just talking with someone about this, uh, both of us in agreement of how fun it is to challenge our thoughts, our actions, our deeds, why we're doing them, where does it come from, uh, is it authentic to our spirit? Uh, at the time I'm doing this, I, I've done, I've started the October readings and I've done Leo's reading already, and there's a strong message in the Leo monthly message about our our wild and free spirit. And the Hierophant would have everything in some right order, some organized way. <laughs> and that's exactly the energy you want to challenge with your wild, with your free, with your spirit. Are you doing things by rote, by habit, because you've always done them that way? And is it really fulfilling you? So question that when you see the Hierophant. And deepen your relationship to yourself here with the Eight of Wands. And live out that expansion. Express that expansion in your day. Let's see what comes next. Six of Wands. Sixes in tarot bring harmony, they bring balance, and this is a card of success and reward and achievement, and it is a homecoming to the self, which is so in keeping with the message over here. So perhaps the tower energy is being cleared out of your world because it's time for you to occupy your own heart more fully. And this stuff, whatever this stuff is for you, has to go. And it's got to go quickly. <laughs> because you have reward on the incoming. 
on the incoming. In the oncoming? <laughs> Next card. Ace of Swords, Divine and Cosmic Gifts. Beautiful. Uh, we've seen a lot of the Aces lately, which is wonderful. These are confirmation cards for us from the universe saying, I got you, baby. I've got you. I've heard you. We're on it. <laughs> We're working with you. This is everlasting strength, brilliant clarity, getting to the heart of the matter, and truth, honesty, integrity. This ace and the tower go very well together. Do also remember that aces have the ability to uh, amplify frequency from challenging cards. So our most challenging card on the table is the tower. And this ace here is a bit of a saving grace for it. Not only that, as it sits there next to the eight, it, the reminder here is that you're. this isn't something that's long in a process. This is very short-lived. Uh, it, it could be a tiny bit of an emotional roller coaster as it passes through, as the wave rolls through and up on your shore. But take that opportunity to really look at it and consider uh, what needs to go. What belief system are you hanging on to in relationship to this tower? What kind of thinking? We have two crowns here in the reading, one on top of the tower, one here on the sword. The feeling is that we are shifting our thoughts. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to angel answers. Ask a question if you have one. Let the cards be a confirmation to you as well. What would angels like to share with us right now? We have two falling out. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to see that one. The situation <laughs> will improve. It'll improve quickly, too. Stay present with yourself. That's, that's important. Just stay present and allow. Roll with this. The next one coming with this. Don't stop. Yeah, this does not have to become an obstacle. Pause, consider, uh, evaluate, make some new choices in a frequency that is in harmony with your heart, in harmony with your truth, and not necessarily in harmony with your belief system. That's something to be challenged in the moment so that you can better occupy your own heart space here with that Six of Wands. Next. How perfect. Choose a new direction. And why wouldn't you if that tower is coming down? Choosing a new direction. It can feel somewhat uncomfortable, but we've had messages so recently about being on the other side of, uh, well, let's revisit last Thursday's reading, that triple ace reading where we had the ace of wands inviting us through a new doorway. And we did. We went. And then we had the hermit. So a quest was beckoning us. And we've chosen that direction. We're going into unexplored ter territory. And we're doing it in happiness. <laughs> and love and trust. <laughs> Namaste, right? <laughs> okay, let's do... You know, I have a new oracle deck. It's the Animal Spirit Oracle deck. Beautifully done. Uh... Gorgeous cards. So let's let's take an animal spirit card just for the fun of it. And to do something different. Okay, we get Giraffe Spirit. See the big picture. Hmm. Yes, see the big picture. The tower doesn't have to be the big picture. It's probably something really small, but it creates a bit of a shockwave that must be loved and nurtured into wholeness again. So see the whole picture. 
I'm coming back again to that reading last week with the High Priestess. And she was showing us what we really needed to look at and what needed to come off the foundation for us. So take a bird's eye view or a giraffe's eye view and see the whole picture. Don't stop what you're doing. It's working for you. It's, it's providing blessings. Uh, in surprising and delightful ways. All right, let's do our affirmation card from the universe has your back. When I am connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Uh, you always have support from the universe. <laughs> Doing that joyfully, though, just makes the journey all the better, doesn't it? All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. As always, leave a comment if you're guided. And have a beautiful, beautiful Friday. Bye for now.